Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm showing you how to stop the cue ball and kill it off of a rail. Uh, so two different topics, not combined into the same thing. But let's get right into it. So first of all, I'm just going to answer why is stop important. So I'm going to shoot this with center ball. That was center ball, not above center. And you see how you scratch pretty much automatically. Uh, and with that slow pace, you really need to know how to stop it. You, there are several different ways to stop it. One way is to hit directly in the center of the cue ball really hard. Not really hard, but at a good pace. So it kind of stops it where it is. You may want to put a little bit of backspin, but the slower you hit the ball, the more backspin you must apply. But there is something you need to watch out for. So right here, I'm going to hit it a bit slower and use about half max backspin. So around in between these two ones is where my tip is contacting. So there it goes. So you can stop it directly with that. Uh, but there's something you need to be careful about. It's low slope. So what I mean by that is when we hit at that below center, or that center, that center fast, so what's happening to the cue ball, and I'll use a strike ball to show this, is there's absolutely no energy on the ball at all. Since we hit it right here, it's just sliding across the table. It's not rolling forward and it's not coming back. It's just sliding until it, if it reaches this point, the energy is gone and it just stops. Now with that, when we hit low and slow, like that last one where it actually does stop, when we hit hard enough forward to, it's spinning backwards, and by the time it gets to the ball, it starts sliding. So as the ball goes down, energy is like transferred. So if we hit too low and too slow, the ball will start off spinning backwards, quickly go to sliding, and then go to rolling forward. And that causes us not to stop directly where we are, and the possibility of a scratch. So you definitely do not want to scratch because that can cost you a whole entire match. So recap, three ways, uh, center, hard, below center, softer, well that was too much draw, that was too much bottom. Uh, see if I can redo that a little slower. And so the slower you hit, the lower you have to hit and the more spin you have to put on the ball. But be careful not to hit too low and too slow. So also the further away you get from a ball, the more bottom you have to put on it. So I don't, you may be able to just kill this with center, but I don't think so. I'll try it. Yeah, it's going to roll forward every time. That's what I was thinking. So, we're going to have to put some backspin. Uh, it's probably safer here rather than just killing it to just spin it backwards. Uh, but the further away you are, the more backspin you have to put on it to kill. So, to kill it, we're probably, whoops, I dropped the ball. We're probably going to have to hit again between those two ones if we want to kill it at that speed. So, I can try to kill it. It's going to be pretty difficult with that spin. Let's see if I can kill it right there. Yeah, we had a bit of an angle that we shouldn't have had. Uh, but you, you get it. The further away, the more spin you have to put and the harder you have to hit. It's safer to hit with more backspin uh, just because it's easier to accomplish. But again, make sure you do not do low, slow. So, do not do that. You can even see on the ball what's happening. Here, I'll hit this strike ball towards that cue ball with low slow. I'm going to set it up to where it's like that. Did you see it spin backwards, start sliding, and then transition to that forward roll? Uh, that is very, very... 
it's very critical information because that can cost you a whole entire match well a whole entire game leading up to a whole entire match and you may lose by just that one game because you hit too low and too slow on your cue ball a drill that you can do to help you with your uh, stop stop shots is to use the strike ball as a cue ball put the number facing up and then your goal is to stop the nine or any stripe you use with that nine still on the top so like that so you want that nine to remain on the top and the reason we're using a stripe is because if you accidentally put any right spin on it you'll see it spin if you accidentally use some left spin on it you'll see it spin to the left like that uh, but it's easier to use a stripe because you can see the spin very clearly on a striped ball it's got that nice little pattern you can also tell when if you are hitting too low and too slow because you'll see that forward motion you'll see that backward motion that sliding and then that forward motion what you're trying to do is you can try it with a different range of like distances and different ranges of speed and spin but we want that nine to remain on top so that wouldn't count right there you want to get as many in a, in a row as you can so I would try the uh, center ball sliding pattern first and then keep going lower on your cube on your nine ball and move it back some and try it way back here and see if you can get it to stop with that nine facing up and that's a really great drill that helps you find center on your cue ball and it also helps you do those stop and stun shots now I also said that I would help you learn how to hold the cue ball and by that I mean if we're shooting this too and we want to shoot our nine next if we shoot this with center ball at a medium speed we're going in this direction and now this isn't a favorable shot on our nine it's kind of a stretch uh, it's it's very makeable but we just don't want to have to shoot that because of that right there you could miss oh why don't I keep running into things today uh, but you can hold your cue ball by using that low slow technique that I told you not to use earlier uh, we're gonna hit a little bit lower than we did that we're gonna hit about as low as we can hit on our cue ball. I'm gonna hit pretty much at the same speed. And look at that, it goes in at the same pace and now we're even on the opposite side of the nine. So, we're gonna use low slow, but it's not just low spin. We're using low inside, so low left. Uh, the spin that's going to bring it back towards here. You can use it for a variety of different angles. Just know that's going to make pocketing the two hard. Uh, you may miss the two, but it's best to hold it. And that's a good example right there. You do not want to use too much side spin. In this case, it may be best just to use some back spin. Uh, the more angle you have, the less side spin you really want to use. And kind of the slower. You just want to take all the energy out of your cue ball. So let's give ourselves a heavier angle. This is what would happen if we hit it with center. The cue ball would go way up table. And then, let's see if I can find a pool ball. There we go. If we do the low and slow, it goes less up the table. And now it's a more reasonable shot on your nine. So either low inside, or you can also use low outside. So if you use low right, just know that's going to spin your cue ball up this direction. Uh, but if that helps you hold it, by all means, go for it. See, it kind of helps us hold it there. Just make sure you have enough 
of that backspin. The backspin is the most important part. You want to kill all of the energy off of that rail. That's why it's called a kill shot. And these are very important shots because you don't want to have to go all the way around the table. If we were like this and we didn't know how to kill the ball, we would probably just shoot a center ball and try to fly around the table to get to the nine. And you can get lucky like that. Uh, but usually, you, you don't want to have to rely on luck. You don't want to have to be like, oh, I just wanted to go here. You, there's different ways to play this shot, but you don't want to have to fly around the table like that. And look, again, we got lucky like that. Uh, but now we still don't have a great shot, but you can do that. So, remember, just a quick recap, low, slow. This also works along this rail, along any rail, really. So if you hit, if you're trying to hold for the seven, this is what happened if you would regularly shoot it. It would fly over here, and you'd be on the wrong side of your seven uh, with an impossible cut shot. You cannot cut that in, and if you cut it in on the other direction, you have a risk of scratching, uh, and it's just an overall tough shot. But if you play with low right, and when I say low right, see if I can find the training cue ball. Where is it? Here it is. Low right, with that low outside, we're hitting way down here. Way down here. And the more angle you use, the less left spin, uh, the less side spin you want to use, just in case it, like, you use too much and it goes in a worse position. So if you use that low right, you can hold it pretty much exactly where it was even closer than where your cue ball started. And now you have a great shot on your seven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, thank you guys for 11,600 subscribers. We just hit that today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.